I don't know. What do you guys think? Are we on a big round ball hurling through space? 666,600 miles per hour? That's a really interesting number too, isn't it? Nothing demonic about that. That's not weird at all. I know that everything that NASA has told us is complete bullshit. I do know that there are a whole lot of scriptures in the Bible that support the flat earth theory. The firmament, for example, and if the firmament is real, that would explain why every time we try to watch Elon Musk launch a rocket into space from SpaceX, it seems to kind of, you know, do this thing and then blows up. It also begs the question about the Challenger. Here's a spaceship shuttle that you're going to put real normal people on, including school teachers. Boy, they get up there and they see that that thing is flat. Imagine the fallout from that. We can't have that. Blow that thing up. We really do have um, we we really do have a country and really humanity full of people who uh, really if they don't understand something they always look for guidance from the authorities or those that purport to be the experts on certain things, which is why like during COVID nineteen everybody was looking at doctors, everybody was looking at researchers and scientists. Everybody believed Dr. Anthony Fauci, probably the world's foremost expert on viruses. You have to question everything. We live under the empire of lies. Are viruses even real? I mean, we're told, as a matter of fact, from practically the moment that we're born, that the Earth is a round globe ball, and it's hurling through space at thousands of miles an hour, spinning around constantly on its axis, while we all just stay in place and feel absolutely nothing and ask no questions, by the way, about what's going on. We're supposed to just blindly believe that the Earth is spinning at a thousand miles per hour or more, spinning around itself in a circle every single day while we just stay put. While we just stay in place. Doesn't make any sense. Fantasyland, the happiest kingdom of them all. Here's a world of imagination, hopes and dreams. Magic and make-believe are reborn and fairy tales come true. Dedicated to the young and the young in heart. To those who believe that when you wish upon a star, your dreams do come true. Some quick programming. The views of our blue marble in the blackness of space now capturing the imagination. The imagination now capturing the imagination of a new generation. Fantasy land. Space videos aren't even believable. This is almost an IQ test at this point. And not everybody can be a robot polisher. H help me, help me try to understand why it triggers so many people when you start to question things and then people just eat up videos like that. You start looking into what really does matter when you take the red pill and swallow it, that's when you get pushback. And one of the most forbidden topics of all time for the past several centuries has been the shape of our Earth. There's a lot of questions about this. If you want more on this, follow him on Twitter, Wits It Gets It. 